pimpin', baby. What's up, everybody? It's your boy K Ray back at you again. And today, I am going to prepare um, just a simple dish uh, made with some uh, leftover barbecue uh, that I had previously cooked. Um, I think I got some ribs, pork chops, a little chicken, some sausage. That's a combination of uh, a lot of things that I that I cook. And as I said before, in, uh, my previous videos I really don't uh, believe in discarding uh, throwing away uh, anything uh, because you can still turn it into a real really good dish it'll just be a little creative and uh, you know everybody can enjoy so what I'm gonna do is make some loaded uh, mashed potatoes um, a lot of people you know may ask why you use uh, instant mashed potatoes uh, because they're quick, fast, and they taste almost just as good. And you don't have to put in all the extra time and work um, to prepare it. I mean, that's my thing. I like to prepare dishes that are uh, taste good, but uh, are really simple and fast. So, you know, I mean, I can cook scratch dishes, but, you know, when these dishes taste just as good, as good you know, why waste all the time, you know, cooking when I could be doing something else, you know, like, hanging out, drinking me a cold beer, or being productive, or whatever, you know, I want to do. So really, it's a simple recipe. It's going to be loaded mash. I mean, it's, it's going to taste, you know, really good. Got a lot of things in it, which restaurants, um, you know, sell their loaded uh, baked potatoes. I mean, some restaurants sell their loaded baked potatoes down here in Houston for like almost 10 bucks, you know. So, I mean, they good, but come on man 10 bucks that's a lot for one baked potato and with this I probably got about maybe 12 bucks into this and trust me I'm gonna feed at least about 20 people uh, with this later on today so what we have is just like I say hungry jack instant mashed potatoes I do the whole box the box says that it'll serve 34 people but you know we'll, we'll see about that I'm more so like on the lines of 20 gonna incorporate some bacon bits some green onions chives whatever you want to call them uh, some cheese I like the mild cheddar jack cheese it's a uh, pretty good and as you can see I do a lot of shopping at Kroger's man I use my little card quite frequently so I'll have quite a few points built up on it by now and what I'm gonna do is I use just some store-bought barbecue sauce uh, this time I'm gonna use some honey uh, barbecue sauce and some hickory I like to kind of like mix it together you know to get a little different flavor with it so basically I'm, I'm gonna just put these mashed potatoes together all I got to do is add some water some margarine or butter and some milk uh, a little salt if I want to but I doubt if I put in the salt and it's gonna be just that simple and with the meat I may chop it up a little bit more finely and what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to just put it on the stove, add a little water to it, add the sauce to it, and simmer it uh, pretty good. It'll get some good flavor in the meat, uh, and even it will tenderize it a little bit more. And when you add the meat with the sauce into the mashed potatoes, boy, I'm telling you, it's going to come out really, really good. So just sit back and uh, wait for me to hit back. And what I'll do is uh, I'll probably have the meat on maybe have the potatoes ready and then I'll just throw um, everything together and just show you how simple it is and trust me you know um, everybody's gonna like like this dish the kids you know the wifey you know your homeboys um, everybody so I'll get back with you in a few minutes later all right I'm back finished chopping up the meat and as you can see I chopped it up kind of finely, pretty much kind of like you would uh, chop beef. Um, that way it'll give the potatoes a nice little uh, texture or when I add them into it. I'm also at the barbecue sauce in here, heat it up, let it simmer for probably about 15, 20 minutes. 
that way the meat will tenderize a little bit more and uh, get that good flavor from the barbecue sauce and also you know has really good smoke flavor from uh, uh, cooking it earlier so like I said it's gonna be a real tasty dish and I'm more than sure that everybody will enjoy it and as I failed to mention before um, I did jack this recipe from a friend of mine my homeboy Layton you know he originally came up with the recipe he did his like with um, red potatoes the whole red potatoes and uh, it was good you know and he just put like just a little brisket in his you know he did it his way but you know I told him I say dude that's a good recipe I'm a jacket from you and he was fine with it so you know I just told him I was gonna perfect it and take it to another level so you know that's what we do is having fun um, cooking and chilling out together so I'm gonna get this rolling so I can go ahead and, and show you all the, the finished product uh, with it. Um, also got uh, the water and margarine ready for the instant uh, mashed potato uh, mix. It's about 12 cups of water, um, a couple margarine, which is two sticks. So I'm bringing that to a boil and, um, and I'll be back to show you uh, the finished product in a little bit later. Okay, as you can see things rolling right along, about 10 minutes in so far. See how the meat and the sauce is simmering up pretty good. Probably about five more minutes on that, we'll be good to go. Already got my water boiling uh, for the mashed potatoes. Got the mashed potatoes right here. My aluminum foil pan. Make sure you use a, a new aluminum foil pan so you don't run the risk of you know having an old pan with holes in it you know and things get kind of messy at that point got my green onions chopped up so I would say probably another 10 minutes you know we should be rocking and rolling should be all done I mean you can't beat uh, fixing a side dish to feed 20 people in less than 20 minutes and I do like these little bottles over here. I think I'm going to save them and put some of my sauce in it that I make. Just a little side, boy. Be back in a minute later. All right. Got everything prepped and ready to go. So now it's just time to, to put this together. What I'm going to do is just add this boiling water. That, the water that I boil in, those, in the margarine into the mixture like so. Man, I can smell them already. So just whisk it in slowly <clears throat> till you get the. Well, it's gonna take a while to get the texture, the consistency that you want. You just pour all this in. Really gonna get the consistency when you put in the uh, the milk. That's what's gonna really bring everything together. Get everything moved around a little bit better. Get all that flakes from the bottom. Start adding my milk. <clears throat> which this is about four cups right here. I normally do about six cups. But what I do is just use the first four cups to even things out. And then the other two I use to get the consistency um, that I want. And if, if the consistency isn't what you want with the six cups, you can always just add a, a little bit more. That's just kind of like a, a ballpark figure right there. 
You can see it's still kind of thick with the first four cups. So I'm gonna probably add like about another cup right here. using a spoon here so I can get it like a one have to be a little patient work with it it all come together and make sure you scrape it on the bottom as well so you don't have any raw flakes you know, once you put everything together and you're trying to eat it And also, when I put the meat in with the sauce, it's going to thin it out a little bit more as well. But it's looking pretty good. I like the consistency that I'm seeing here. And uh, I'll just add the last cup of milk. Should be able to. I'm down the home stretch with it. I'm looking for. Now just add the meat. smoke flake off the meat from the pit getting hungry now stir that in like so comes together really nice Do not just add a layer of cheese all the way across. One bag, eight ounce bag, half one cup. Cheese here. A little bacon bits. Chives. cheese here. Got to load it up really good. That's why it's called loaded mash. Some more bacon bits. I mean like on the first level I, I, I do like one full bag and then the next layer I do just like the top layer I just do half. 
I don't want it to get too, too, too gooey. And the rest of the chives. There you have it. One big pan of loaded mashed potatoes ready to go. Like I said, what I'll do, I'll just foil it up, let it sit, let it rest. And um, when I make it to my destination, which I'm gonna go just hang out with some friends today, uh, just some of my homies, you know, I'm just, um, I spent about 60 bucks on some meat and stuff. So I'm gonna go hang out with them today, barbecue and just have a good time uh, with those guys. And this is gonna be one of my side dishes here. Um, so, just let me know what you think. You know, it's nothing um, gourmet-ish about this or whatever. It's just some leftover stuff that, that I had that I threw together. And um, you know, you can have some good eating for you and your friends, your family or whoever for uh, a low, low price. Uh, so, just let me know what you think. Uh, check out my video give me a comment on it and i will get back with you guys in the near future with some more texas style cooking thank you